Hello, it's Matthew from the Port Stephens Library. Today we are going to start with lesson one of Code Club Australia's first module of Scratch. First off, we're going to open our web browser and we're going to search for Code Club Australia. Just up here like this. So I've already searched it there, just click on that one. So now, after the search results have come up, we just want to open codeclubau.org. So select that one there and we'll get the Code Club Australia site. So then up the top in almost the middle, there'll be the projects, just click on that. And then scroll down a little bit and you'll say, see all Scratch projects. So we'll click on that one there. And we'll have module one in our first lesson here is learn how to code your own musical instruments. So we'll just click on that one there. So the name of the actual modules first lesson is called Rock Band. And we're just gonna start the project here. So just click on Start Project. Okay, so in the introduction to Rock Band, we have how to code your own musical instruments and what we'll make. So here's a brief little overview of what it'll look like maybe in the end. So we just click on the green flag here. You can see we've got a little character here and we, if we click on them, and if we click on the drum, we'll make a noise. And if we click on the little symbol, it'll crash. So now we're just gonna scroll down a bit. And if we click on the what you will learn, we'll find out we're going to use code to change a sprite's costume in Scratch. We're going to use code to make sprites react to input in Scratch. And we're going to add sounds to a sprite in Scratch. What you will need is a computer capable of running Scratch 3. So if you're on the computer watching this, you're probably good to go. And then the software is Scratch 3, either online or offline. We'll be using the online version. So, and there's some additional information in this for any educators who are teaching uh, introduction to Scratch. So now we'll just click on our introduction down here and we're up to our sprites. So before you can start coding, you'll need to add in a thing to code. In Scratch, these things are called sprites. So we're gonna open a new Scratch project. To do that, we're using the online version. We're just going to open a new online Scratch project by clicking on this link and it'll open up a new tab up here. So we're creating our project. So this is what Scratch looks like. Um, if you already have an account on Scratch and you've used it before, you might be logged in. Whereas I've got one up here, Library Mapman. Um, but you'll notice that we've still got our other tab open here for Rock Band. So if you move your mouse to the top left hand side, you'll see that it's still up there and we can then click between the two and switch. So now we've had a little look at Scratch. We're just going to go back to the Rock Band one up the top. And we'll just put a tick on that because we've opened up our Scratch project. And we're just going to scroll down. And the first thing to do is the cat sprite that you can see is the Scratch mascot. You don't need it for this game, so get rid of it by right-clicking it and then clicking on Delete. So we'll go back into Scratch and we'll just go down here. We can right-click and delete. Or alternatively, we can just click on the little trash can in the corner and he'll disappear and he's gone. So now we'll go back to our lesson and we'll put a tick there. Okay, so next click on Choose Sprite from Library to open up a list of all the Scratch sprites. So if you look here at this little Choose a Sprite, if we go back to Scratch, it's just down here in the bottom right hand corner, and we go Choose Sprite. And then we'll go back to our lesson and put it there. Scroll down a bit further, so scroll down until you see a drum sprite. Click on a drum to add to your project. So we'll go back into Scratch. We're just gonna scroll down until we find the drum. It's alphabetical, so just go to D and a bit further and I'm going to use this drum myself. So we'll just click on that and it'll appear over here in our stage. So now we'll just go back to our lesson and put a tick there. So next we're going to click and drag the drum to the bottom of the stage. So we're going to go back into Scratch and we're going to click and drag the drum down the bottom. And then back to the lesson and tick. Now give your program a name by typing into the text box at the top. 
Then we're going to click on File and then Save Now to save your project. If you are not online or don't have a Scratch account, you can save a copy of your project by clicking on Save to your computer instead. So we'll go back to Scratch and we're just going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Rock Band and then I'm going to go File and Save Now. If you aren't logged on and you don't have a Scratch account, you can save it to your computer here or you can ask your parents and you can create an account. So we'll just go Save Now. And as you'll see, project saved. So now I'm just going to go back to the lesson and then since we've done that, I'm going to hit the tick button. And then we're going to go to the next one, the stage. So after clicking the stage, we'll come up with our next steps. The stage is the area on the right and is where your project comes to life. Think of it as a performance area, just like a real stage. At the moment, the stage is white and looks pretty boring. Add a backdrop to it by clicking on Choose a Backdrop. So we'll go back into Scratch. If we just go next to where our Choose a Sprite is, we'll have Choose a Backdrop and click on there. And then we'll go back to our lesson and tick and scroll down. So we're going to click on Indoors in the list at the top, then click on a theatre backdrop. So back into Scratch, go up the top here, we've got Indoors, and then we want the theatre, and there we are. So now we have our backdrop. And we'll go back into our lesson and tick. So our, your stage should now look similar to this. So if we look back, it looks pretty similar. Maybe move the drum over to the side a bit. And then we'll go back and tick. Now we're going to go to our next step, making a drum. Now you will add code to your drum so that the drum makes a sound when it's clicked. You can find the code blocks in the scripts tab and they are all color coded. So that makes it nice and easy. So first add the music extension so you can play instruments. Click on the add extension button in the bottom left hand corner. So this little one here, we're just going to go back. If we go down to the bottom left hand corner, we can see the extensions, add extensions. And we're just going to click on the music one. So now we're going to go back into our lessons, scroll down and see, click on the music extension to add it, which we've just done. So we can click tick up there. It's a bit of a long one there. So scroll down further, click on the drum sprite and then drag these two blocks into the code area on the right. So we want when this sprite clicked and we want play drum, snare drum. So we'll see this is an orange one, which is an event and the other one is a music one. So we'll go in there. So we go on our left hand side, find our events, click on there. We want when this sprite is clicked. So we'll click and drag that across and place it down. And then we'll go down to our music section down the bottom, click there and play drum and clip it in underneath just like Lego. And then we'll go back to our lesson. And we'll make sure that the blocks are connected like Lego blocks, as we said. So now we can click tick. Now let's click on the drum to try out your new instrument. So we'll go back into Scratch and just click on the drum. And as you can hear, it's making a noise. We'll go back to our lesson hit tick, and then we're going to do the challenge and improve your drum. So in the challenge, improving your drum, can you change the sound that the drum makes when it's clicked? So if we go back into Scratch and we click just here on the arrow next to snare drum, we can change it to a different one. So let's make it a bongo. Now if we click on the bongo, make a different noise. And then if we go back into the lesson, we'll see what else it wants us to do. Can you also get the drum to make a sound when the space bar is pressed? You'll need to use this event block when space key pressed. If you want to copy your existing code, right click on it and then click on duplicate. So let's try that. We'll go back into Scratch. And we just need to go and grab a new event block. So just under our event blocks in the left hand side, we want to grab this when space key pressed. And then we're going to right click here on our musical play drum and duplicate that. And then we can pop it underneath the when space pressed. Now we can change that as well to something else. So let's make this play a conga. And now I'm going to press space bar on the keyboard. 
And as you can see, it's making a different noise. So we'll go back into our lesson and that's our challenge. So now, next step is making a singer. So now you will add a singer to your band, add a singer sprite to your stage. So if you remember how we added our uh, drum, we'll go back into Scratch, we'll go down to the right hand side and choose a sprite and we'll find our singer. Nice easy way to do that is we can click in our search bar up the top and we can write in singer and there she is. So now we'll click and drag her over the other side, not too close to the instruments. And now we'll go back to our lesson. And we'll give that a tick as well when we're there. Before you make your singer sing, you need to add a sound to your singer sprite. Make sure that you have selected your singer sprite then click on the sound tab and click on, a, on choose a sound. So we'll just do that. So we'll go back to scratch. We've selected our singer. We'll go up here to our sounds tab and click there. And if we just go down to the bottom left hand corner, we'll have choose the sound. We'll just go back to our lesson. And then in here, we'll give that a tick and scroll down. So now we're going to click on voice in the list at the top and then choose a sound to add to your sprite. So we'll go back and do that. So up the top, right down the end, we've got voice, we'll click there, and we're going to find one singer. Ah, perfect, so we'll choose that one there. Now we've got a singer voice. And we'll go back to our lesson and give that a tick. So we'll scroll down. To use the sound, add the following code blocks to your singer sprite. When the sprite is clicked, end play sound singer one until done. So we'll go back to scratch. We'll go back to our code tab. And then we'll choose when this sprite clicked, just like with our drum. And then we'll go into the one just above it, our sound tab. And we'll play sound singer one until done. And then we'll go back to our lesson. And we'll give that a tick and now we'll click on your singer on the stage and see what happens. Does she sing? Let's test it out. So we'll go back in. Yes, she does. So now we'll go back to our lesson and we'll give that a tick. And now we're going to go on to our next bit, costumes. So now you will make your singer look like you're singing. You can change how your singer sprite looks when it's clicked by creating a new costume. Click on the costume tab and you'll see the singer's costume. So we'll have a look between our code and sound tab. So we'll go in there. So just back to scratch and go into costume. And we can see her there. So we'll go back to our lesson and give that a tick and scroll down. So now we right click on the costume and then click on duplicate to create a copy of it. So let's go back and do that. Go back into scratch, just right click over here and duplicate and now we have two different ones that look the same at the moment. So we'll go back to our lesson and we'll give that a tick. And we'll scroll down and click on the new costume called Singer 2 and then select the line tool and draw lines so it looks like your singer is making a sound. So we'll go back in and do that. So back into Rock Band, choose Singer 2 Select the line tool down here and we'll draw some lines so it looks like we're singing. Not very good lines, but doesn't matter. We'll go back to our lesson and we'll give that a tick and we'll scroll down. The names of the costumes aren't very helpful at the moment. Type into the text boxes of the costumes to change their names to not singing and singing. So we'll go back in and do that. So we'll change our singing one to singing. We'll click on our other one and change that to not singing. Put a space there as well. Okay, yeah. we'll go back to our lesson and give that a tick and scroll down. Now that you have two different costumes for your singer, you can choose which costume is displayed. Add these two code blocks to your singer sprite. So we're going to have a switch costume to singing in a switch costume to not singing between either side of the play sound singer one. And the code blocks for changing the costume is in the looks section. So we'll go do that now. 
And we'll go back to Scratch, go into our Code tab, go into our Looks, and we'll go Switch Costume to Singing and put that above Play Sound, which just clips in place. And we'll grab another one, Switch Costume to Singing, and we'll change that to Not Singing. And we'll go back to our lesson and give that a tick. Now, click on your singer on the stage. Does she look like she's singing? Let's find out. We'll go back to Scratch and we'll click on our singer. Uh, yes, it looks like she's singing now. Very good. So we'll go back to our lesson and we'll give that a tick. Now, make your drum look like it's being hit. We'll use the instructions for changing your singer sprite's costume to help you. Remember to test that your new code works. So we'll try that out now. We'll go back into Scratch, and now we're going to select our drum. Then if we go into our drum costumes, we'll see that it's already got drum A and drum B. And drum B looks like it's being hit. So we'll go back to our code. And in looks, we'll switch our costume when clicking the sprite to drum B. And we'll switch it back to drum A afterwards. So that out the way, it's in the way. And now if I try clicking on the drum, it looks like it's being hit. Now we can go back to our lesson and tick that. And now there's a challenge, improve your band. So under challenge, improve your band, use what you've learned in this project to make your own band. You can create any instruments you like. Look at the available instrument sprites and sounds to get some ideas. So there's quite a few in there. And here's an example. When this sprite clicked, set instrument to piano, play note. Your instruments don't have to be realistic though. For example, you could make a piano made out of muffins. That sounds fun. You can use more sprites from the library and you can also paint your own sprite. So under choosing sprite, just go up and you can draw your own. If you're having issues with the sprite jumping up and down, it's got some instructions here when creating your own sprite. If you have a microphone, you can record your own sounds and you can even use a webcam to hit your instruments with motion control, quite fun. So after you've played around and made your own one and created all the other instruments you want, what's next after that? So let's find out. So what's next is, now that you've built your first Scratch project, why not take a look at Lost in Space Scratch project? Click on the green flag to see the animation. So let's see what it looks like. So next lesson we do, we'll actually be doing this Lost in Space animation project. So until next time, congratulations, you've completed the first project, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye for now.